this video, we're gonna be resetting a router. This could be due to connection issues, weak signal, and any other technical problems that you're having, just to give yourself a clean slate before calling out a technician. Uh, today we're dealing with an Xfinity router, depending on your service provider, Verizon, AT&T, Spectrum, the process should look about the same. On the front of the router, you're gonna see a power light, you're gonna see an online light, wireless lights, um, as well as a couple of other lights. But in order to reset this router, we're gonna go ahead and turn it to the back side. On the back side of the router, you can either have a power button or in this case, you're just gonna have a power cable. Um, you're also gonna see the coax cable on the back side here. Um, but in order to disconnect this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the power cable out from the back side. Once we pull the power cable out, we're gonna leave this router off for 60 seconds just to let it reset. Now that we've plugged the power cable back in, we're gonna go and turn the router around. And here's where we're gonna look for the sequencing of lights to turn back on. So the first one being the power light, then shortly after you'll see a couple of the other router signaling lights turn back on. Um, but we're really looking for the online light as well as the two wireless lights to turn back on. Once all of these lights are back up and running, it usually takes about 60 seconds for it to reestablish connection. Um, but you should be good to browse the internet after that. If you have any other troubleshooting or connection issues, please reach out to your customer experience associate and we can arrange a technician to come out and look at the router or the internet.